Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this makeup look is so easy and this is intended for a picnic event. So if you're planning to have a picnic with your friends and you don't know what to wear or what makeup to wear, probably this makeup look would suit you. Nothing fancy here. Blending is so easy. No need to stress. So yeah, that's how. See the makeup look there, see the eyeshadow, it's nothing. And except for the lashes because I cannot live without lashes. So yeah, if you're interested on how... And look at... Before we proceed, look at that hair. It's so laid back. It's just I ponytailed it, not spraying or whatsoever, no bobby pins. I just pull it like that and put a rubber band. So... Yes, if you're interested in the simple makeup look, then yeah, please keep on watching. So and since this is picnic, so as much as possible, I will try to... I'm gonna be using foundation that is light to medium because I don't want to look cakey all throughout the day because it's really hot. So I will be picking up this Laura Mercier. This is a light to medium coverage. This is in the shade Macadamia and picking up my brush right here. So distributing the product all over my face. I would say that even though you could see that it looks like a full coverage but I would say this is a light to medium coverage because I could still see my skin picking through. Okay, so foundation distributed evenly. I will only be putting one coat or one layer on my skin because I don't want it super thick and uh, yeah. Thick layers on my skin since the event that we're big that we will be going is picnic and it's hot outside. Now picking up my concealer, we've got here born born this way, um, multi-use sculpting concealer by Too Faced. I think this is the best concealer I've ever tried so far. So I picked up the best of the best concealer I have because I I am sure that this would last. Um, and would still look pretty under harsh circumstances. And picking up the same brush as what we use with the foundation and just buff it in onto the face. Don't worry, there will be... Because I am using um, brush, expected that there will be Tricks is the right tricks, but I'm picking up right now my beauty sponge and just make sure that the product is sticking onto the skin properly and yeah, to avoid tricks, especially this one right here, it tends to to look powdery, cakey, and uh, yeah, like streaks. I could really see streaks on my nose so. Make sure. Then after this, I'm gonna be picking up the next thing that I will be, oh my God, I know it looks so white and it doesn't look natural at all, but now we'll proceed. We will not do a lot of baking, but we will put powder on our face so it's set and ready for bronzing and some simple eye makeup. Then for my bronzer, uh, no, not bronzer yet. Powder. For my powder, I'm going to be using this one right here. This is by the brand um, Bare Minerals. This is a Blemish Remedy. It's a, The shade is clearly pearl. It says here, Blemish Remedy Foundation. So it's a layers of foundation now, but this is powder. So I think I could... I could ignore the layers because liquid plus liquid foundation, that's too much. But liquid and powder, I think that's acceptable. So dipping my brush. And since we have the, the cap here with products, so I'm just, ooh, it's a lot. So hold on. So stamping it onto the face because we don't want to move that product there underneath underneath the powder. So just stamping it. Okay, so I guess this is done. Now we'll proceed to the um, 
I don't know, I'm confused whether I'm gonna proceed to the bronzing or eye makeup look. So let me think. I think I'm gonna proceed to the eye makeup look. And yeah, uh, let me get my palette. Okay, so I've decided to use two um, eyeshadow palette because one is not enough. So this one, right, but it's up to you if you're gonna, if you don't have this kind of palette, probably you have something in your collection that has the same shade. So we've got here Milani. This palette right here says it's Everyday Eye Eyeshadow Collection by Milani. And this one right here, it's Sunrise Moonrise by Althea Korea. So the first shade that we will be using as a transition shade would be this one right here so we will not make this look very complicated we'll just have a minimal makeup or eye makeup look and we're ready to go so i'm not gonna be adding more on that um transition shade now we'll proceed to the next shade and using a different brush this is by the brand Lexi 121 um mini tapered brush dipping it into this beautiful peachy color right here so i'm gonna add this shade on the outer v not too thick i think i let me erase some because it's, it looks so thick so i'm just gonna distribute it mainly focus on the outer v and i'm gonna drag the rest of the pigments like reaching almost to the center of the crease and same goes to this side right here and i'm just gonna leave the inner corner bare not not totally bare but i'm gonna place another shade for that um corner right there and that's it now um i'm gonna add um shade on my lower lash line around here just to balance out this makeup look just a little not all the way a hint of pitch down there and same goes here on the other side of the eye now i'm ready for the other for the Let's move on to this next palette. I tell you guys, this look is an easy peasy makeup look. The last shade that I'm gonna be using for my crease is this gold shade right here. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this. I don't know if this is pink or red. It's just I'm gonna mix them both like so. So let me remind you once again that I am attending a picnic event, not a birthday or a clubbing kind of event so i'm not gonna place a lot of glitters because i might overboard so just a little just to give a hint a little bit of glitters and once the light sunshine strike onto my eyes it gives a little bit of sheen is it sheen a little bit of glittery effect if that makes any sense so that's it just distribute it from inner corner towards like everywhere this glitter is not intimidating because they are very tiny so and i think the shimmery eye makeup look is also good especially if your face is super matte and you're using a matte bronzer just like this one right here this is by the brand laura Giller in the shade of deep so it balances out everything on your face so I'm gonna be picking up my brush right here. This is by the brand Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. So I'm gonna apply the bronzer starting from my forehead and work all the way through the temple. Always include your temple. I know it's so irritating because see that? It messes up your hair and it also erases your, it also messes up not only your hair but as well as your brows. And yeah, but see the benefit or the difference between not having any bron not having bronzer and just plain foundation it was was so ugly earlier it was so pale and it's just bronzer makes life even prettier <laughs> so also include this one right here so it doesn't look weird your face is so white but your neck is they don't connect so always put bronzer there so before i totally like fix this 
um, finish this makeup look let me give you one tip so if you don't want to use falsies then you could put two coatings on your upper lashes and one coat on the lower lashes because if your lower lashes is does if you put a lot of coatings on your lower lashes it would look longer than your upper lashes which is i don't like it so um i what i do i i put maximum three coats on the upper upper lashes and as you can see i've put two coats and one coat down there and you see the difference this one right here is um more dominant than the lower lash line uh, lower lashes so yeah i have to go now and i'll be right back so don't forget to contour your nose because so that it looks pointy and yeah it's emphasized and it looks pretty your nose is already pretty but we have to enhance it through contouring in this case i'm gonna be using this brand right here i always use this it's a floor mar brand and i'm gonna dip this brush right here I don't know how to call this brush right here I'm just gonna brush it like that get some product and uh, start contouring the nose I think I'm gonna stop here I'm not gonna include this part where my eyes is the inner corner so I'm just gonna stop in the center like so and include this one right here and if it's too intense we could always go back with the brush that we use for our bronzing and just brush some of the harsh pigments mix it with your bronzer and yeah i think that's enough there you go pretty is it so we're done with the nose contour we'll proceed to the highlighter so when it comes to highlighter we want like a dewy dewy kind of glow and i found out that i have one of that this one right here by the brand lorac it is in the shade twilight i've used this one it, it looks so dewy onto the skin which is and it doesn't look patchy or powdery at all so that's why i've this one rather than some of the products highlighter products I have in the closet so I forgot to mention to you that this highlighter does have a gold undertone so this would look pretty on the on the person that has the same skin tone as mine like tan skin tone it's so dewy and it looks so healthy even though it is super intense now but the gold undertone is it's close to the real thing so for our nose we're gonna contour our nose too of course that's always included I'm gonna be using a different brush this is by the brand BH Cosmetics 105 and dipping it on the same product that we use you could also use a liquid highlighter it depends on your preference just make sure that your liquid your liquid um highlighter doesn't move all of the products piled up onto your skin okay so this activity is picnic so there's food so we have to make sure that the lip color that we're using is reliable so in my case i've tested these two right here it could be this one trust tick this is in the shade english rose but i think i'm gonna be using this brand right here laura mercier this lip pencil is in the shade baby lips my god and then um i'm gonna top coat it with this bulletproof like i've said the shade is you prefer i've got dead dead skin on my lips i should have scrubbed it anyways that's it and um i think you've noticed that i did not apply any blush on because i don't need it i think bronzer is just enough now the last thing that we're going to do is to set this face because we don't want this makeup to move and also to get rid of the unwanted powders if there are so using this urban dk all nighter i've heard good reviews on this one so that's why i keep using it I'm not gonna do anything when it comes to my hair. I just 
I, I will just leave it like that. I'm used to wearing this kind of hair way back in the Philippines and I like it. And since the it's either um, I would curl my hair which will take like forever like I have to wake up early or if you want instant you could just ponytail your hair or bun or whatever you like because it's really windy there and I think this kind of hair it's just right it, it's manageable so that's it guys um what do you think do you think would you agree just based on what you see is this really easy makeup look I would say it is and it is really appropriate for the for that certain event except for the lashes which is I can't say no when it comes to lashes I always wear lashes like every day when I go out so that's it guys if you like this video then please don't forget to click the like button and if you're not subscribed then please do subscribe see you on my next post guys I love you bye